As a student, you may have questions about the use of generative AI. What is it? Can I use it? Will anyone know that I've engaged it? Can I get in trouble for turning in work with AI in it? Who says it's okay for me to use it? Is it cheating? The short and long answer to all of these questions is, it depends. This video will help you better understand generative AI, learn best practices, and avoid pitfalls moving forward. You may be asking, what do generative AI tools actually do? George Lawton with TechTarget.com explains that generative AI is a type of artificial intelligence technology that can produce various types of content, including text, imagery, audio, and synthetic data. Generative AI tools do not use new ideas. They recycle those already available. They don't distinguish between facts and falsehoods and may include inaccurate and false information. They may generate fake citations for articles, books, people, and other important information. And they may not give accurate results. Text generated through Grammarly, for example, may be flagged in the Turnitin review system because the system compares text against different databases. AI can give false negatives and false positives. Are you thinking, don't worry, I can hide it, no one will ever know? The truth is, that's a dangerous assumption and can lead to violations of academic integrity. And it's not in the spirit of our core value of integrity. All members of the Texas A&M University community are expected to actively promote academic integrity. We do this through promoting the ideals of the Aggie Code of Honor. Texas A&M instructors are taking proactive steps to promote academic integrity in every class and every course. As the primary resource for understanding the expectations for assignments, your instructors have created syllabi and assignment instructions that include intricate details, all for your benefit and to enrich your learning. However, expectations for assignments may vary from course to course and instructor to instructor. So that means that all your instructor's expectations for the use of resources, including generative AI, may vary. Yikes. So how do you keep track of all this? You ask. You read the syllabus. If instructions are ever unclear or your questions are not answered by the syllabus, ask your instructor. But if you can't get the information in time, assume that the work should be completed individually and without the use of generative AI as a resource. This is a standard for any resource used on any assignment from the Aggie Honor System's rules. AI text generators such as ChatGPT or even synonym generators like Grammarly should not be used for any work without explicit permission from the instructor. Texas A&M University defines plagiarism as academic misconduct that appropriates another person's ideas, processes, results, or words without giving appropriate credit. You should credit your use of anyone else's words, graphic images, or ideas with standard citation styles. Students turned into the Aggie Honor System office for unauthorized use of generative AI have been found responsible for cheating, plagiarism, fabrication, and violation of college, program, departmental, or course rules. Sanctions imposed for unauthorized use of generative AI could include academic sanctions of zeros, grade reductions, failing the course, and even educational and university sanctions of extra requirements for the course or educational programs and being suspended or expelled from Texas A&M. The main takeaway is responsibility. Be responsible in your use of generative AI and engage it as you would any other resource as you complete academic work. Credit the use of anyone or anything in an academic exercise by using standard citation styles. If any resource, including generative AI, is not explicitly an approved resource for an assignment, that means it's unauthorized and you shouldn't use it. If generative AI is authorized for the completion of an assignment, be sure to get clear guidance from your instructor on appropriate use. If you need guidance while you're working on an assignment, seek the help of your instructor or visit the University Writing Center. Generative AI is a tool, and like any tool, it can be used or misused. So be careful out there and ask for guidance when you need it. If you have questions about academic integrity, visit the Aggie Honor System Office website or contact one of their advisors. Thanks for watching and gig'em.